It seems the voting has finished. Now then, let's see the result. Who will be chosen as the blackened? Will you make the right choice or the dreadfully wrong one? What the hell are you saying? Wait a second, what result? Voting time hasn't happened yet. Aww. Yes, it has. Don't you remember, Monosuke? No, it hasn't. You're the one who doesn't remember, Monotaro. Uh -oh. oh man, you're right. Selimi, I'm so forgetful. <laughs> wow! I didn't expect you all to get so worked up over such a small lie. You kids are pretty gullible, huh? Now then. Well, anyway. Let's just skip this trial and jump ahead to chapter three. The hell are you well, wait a second, we don't know the culprit yet. Aww. Yeah, who killed Rontaro? That was chapter one's case. How can you be this forgetful? He doesn't want to get involved in another pointless argument like now, this one. You're on the threshold of an amazing adventure. You right. shouldn't listen to anything Maki says. She's just going to throw out more lies. But if we don't ask her for more details, how will we know for sure? I told you already, we don't need to. I hate liars. Liar, liar, pants on fire. <laughs> Takes one to know one. More one to talk. <laughs> Maki, just ignore that lying little degenerate. We'll listen to what you have to say. It must have been a little after midnight last night. He visited me at my research lab. He wanted me to show him the motive video that I received. Motive video? If Ryoma came to ask about that, does that mean you had his motive video? As I recall, Ryoma had Maki's motive video, correct? Does this mean you and Ryoma received one another's motive video? I actually didn't check the one I got, so I wouldn't know. Maki admitted earlier that she hadn't checked her Cubs pack. Then why did Ryoma think that Maki had his motive video? If he went around asking at random, he might have asked some people besides Maki. He never asked me. He probably never asked you guys either, right? Yeah. Then... Who was it that told Ryoma about his Cubs pad? Who told Ryoma that Maki had his Moda video? <sighs> Did he ask one of the the mono the mono cubs? Because he couldn't have deducted that, could he? It would have to be someone who knew who had each pad. Who knew? Did you know? It's you! That would be... Kokichi. Okay. Cubs pads! Gotta catch them all. I even got the pads belonging to the people who aren't here. <laughs> now everyone can watch their Moda video. So, you saw the Moda videos. Did you tell Ryoma that Maki had his? When males get this quiet, they're either caught in a lie or thinking dirty thoughts. That would have meant he had to have bumped into Ryoma at night. What happened then, Maki? After Ryoma asked you for his motive video. I told Ryoma just to take it from my room. I keep my room unlocked. Oh, Maki, that's super careless. Aren't you scared someone might kill you in your sleep? And then what happened? I don't know what happened after that. 
I'm not even sure if he saw his motor video. When he asked me, he said that he would show me my motor video in return. But I wasn't interested, so I declined. And that's pretty much it. So you don't even know if Ryoma saw his motor video? What a bunch of crap. If Maki met with Ryoma at nighttime, that proves he was still alive then. Which means, even though we don't have alibis from 8 to 10, Maki and me aren't suspects. If that story is true. It's true. Then why did you wait until now to bring that up? I didn't say anything until now because I wasn't in the mood to be suspected. Suspected? What for? Kirumi said it earlier. It seems that Ryoma and I had each other's motive videos. That's pretty fishy, right? So I didn't want to mention it to avoid suspicion. You didn't say anything because you weren't in the mood? It is quite selfish to keep this information hidden because you were not in the mood. Well, whatever. Either way, let's just believe Maki. Yes, yes! Those who believe shall be saved! No, we need to wait. There is still more to confirm. Well then, why don't we ask Kokichi? Huh? What now? You never answered my question. Were you the one who told Ryoma that Maki had his motive video? Yeah, answer the question, because that would have meant that you had to bump into him at night. Is that really important? Yes, it is important. Because if Kokichi told Ryoma, it becomes more likely that Ryoma visited Maki during nighttime. I see. Kokichi's response may help corroborate Maki's testimony. It would have had to have happened sometime before 11 and after 10, right? Uh, sometime in between bumping into Kurumi. Now you understand why I don't want your charade. I want the truth. Well, Kokichi, did you tell Ryoma? You said it earlier. I don't want to die, right? If you really don't want to die, then you better tell us the truth. Here comes the dramatic turnabout. Now I'm the one pressured by Maki. Okay, it's true. I told Ryoma. Just as I thought. That's not a bad thing, right? He wanted to know, so I told him. Have you seen everyone's motive video? No, not yet. I was going to wait until we hosted, like, a movie screening party. I just checked who had who's, so I could give them back to everyone after. Hmm. I see. Anyway, if Kokichi told Ryoma that, then he must have gone to see Maki. That means Maki's telling the truth. Ryoma was alive during nighttime. <sighs> I was... I was so certain that... that Kurumi had seen his video, and that's why she killed him. So, now I'm just... I'm confused. No, we cannot be too sure about that yet. Even if Ryoma and Maki did meet, it does not mean it was during nighttime yesterday. So you still suspect me? I am saying it could still be a possibility. If there is still a small chance of you being the culprit, then I cannot trust you entirely. Because everyone's lives are at stake. Then which is it? A lie? Or not lie? She's not lying! Can't you tell just by looking at her? If it was that easy, we'd be done by now. No. This is a world of lies and betrayal. Amigo! It breaks my heart to hear you say depressing things! I find Maki's testimony suspicious. It's far too convenient for her. This is difficult to determine. Maki is lying. Like I said before, a liar like me knows their own kind. I'm not lying. I did meet up with Ryoma during that time. It's obvious she had to have because, like, when did Kokichi, when did Kokichi get the, the Cubs pads? He got it. He got them before nighttime and arrived, like, well, he might have gotten after, but he, he had to have done it right around nighttime. So, 
If he did, in fact, bump into Ryoma, who asked him about it, when did he ask him about it? Because how would have Kokichi known before that time period? That had to have happened after night. Because, yeah. I'm telling the truth. Is it a lie or the truth? This is the turning point. This will change the fate of this case. And I... I said I would believe in Kaito, and that means believe in Yamaki. And that means I have to do it. I need us all on the same page. I have to change where this argument is going, just like Kaede did. Maki alone. If no one can prove that this contest account meeting took place, then there is no reason to believe your testimony, I'm afraid. As expected, Maki is lying to us. If you can't prove your claim, then it's the same as an outright lie! I can't say the two of them met now. That's too obvious a lie. So I can convince them that Maki met up with someone. He met with Ryoma. Yeah, no, I didn't meet with anyone else. Did anyone see those two together? Surely they would have come back. If no one can prove that. No. No. I always know the truth. Was that really it? I might not be able to prove they met, but I can prove Maki wasn't alone. Oh my god, you guys. Oh my god. Oh. I wondered why I was gonna have something that said Maki alone. So I had to lie. Okay. I'm not gonna lie, I had to I had to reload a save because I guessed wrong so many times. Please explain. Well, Kaito and I trained together every night. And yesterday, because of the insect meet and greet, we started late. Huh? Ah, Kaito, don't worry. You don't have to say anything. Anyway, we were doing some frog squats on the school stairs. When we heard two people talking. People talking? We knew one of them was Maki, but we couldn't pick out the other one. But now that I think about it, it must have been Ryoma. What? Uh, yeah, maybe. That was probably around midnight. Wait a minute! If you heard their voices, then that means... So Ryoma and Maki did meet up. No, no, hold up! Why'd you sit on that info for so long? Because until just now, I didn't think it was relevant. I had no reason to bring it up. Now, now. We don't know if Maki was really talking to Ryoma, right? That is true. If I knew for certain, I would have said so sooner. But considering the circumstances, I can't imagine it being anyone but Ryoma. None of us were talking to Maki last night, correct? So it must have been him. And nobody say you suddenly remember talking to Maki. It's way too late for that. And you two did not confirm who Maki was talking to at the time? If I overheard a conversation in the middle of the night, I surely would have checked. We are still part of a killing game after all. Whoa, whoa chill out. Why the scary face? That was my bad, but it's not really manly to eavesdrop, you know? I wouldn't do something so uncool. Anyway, I know that we heard those voices. Maki is not lying. Then Gonto will believe, friends. You're gonna believe him? Just like that? I'm being really quiet because I'm trying to really focus on what people are saying because I feel like this lie is going to bring out the, the killer. But Shuichi has no reason to lie. Yes. 
If his lie leads us to the wrong culprit, he will join us in eternal sleep. Unless he wishes for death, we should be able to believe him. That's right. You can believe me. Yeah, you're right. I'll believe him too. Belief shall set you free! I'd be so surprised if Shuichi was a liar. Especially after we believed him for so long. We wouldn't be able to trust anyone anymore. Well, it's not like he's lying anyway. All right, that proves it then. Ryoma was still alive during nighttime. In other words, me and Maki aren't suspects anymore. Well, I wouldn't say that. I guess that means everyone's alibis no longer matter, yes? Oh, crap. <laughs> oh, crap. Oh, my God. No, I've spent so time deducing all this. I'm so boned. I have no idea who did it. I thought for sure that alibi would have made sense. Everyone is culprit again? Not necessarily. Someone someone had to plot this whole murder at least. Like, get everything ready. I don't uh, understand how someone pulled off putting him in the tank. If they put him in the tank after this whole whole thing went down, I don't know how. Like, that inner tube, did they, like, somehow create some sort of crazy pendulum and, like, <laughs> shoot him across the window into that? There's no way! I don't understand how it could have worked. I mean, maybe somehow, like, the, the tube was, like, some sort of transporting mechanism for Ryoma's body, but how would they have done that? I've thought of, like, many ways to use the cable to, to, like, get over there, but most of it involved, like, someone with crazy amounts of of, of dexterity and, and strength to just, like, like, move across that while pushing forward the inner tube with Ryoma's body. But then I didn't understand, like, why would it have dropped into the pool? I don't, I don't understand. I'm so lost. <laughs> so, we're right back where we started. What a pain. However, it should be clear now that the crime occurred after nighttime began. But then when was Ryoma's body placed inside the piranha tank? Well, the gym is locked at nighttime. So it must have been the next morning, but... That's not possible. Himiko and I were at the gym, remember? So did we fuck up by thinking the body got stuffed into the piranha tank? No, that's right. I don't think so. We have evidence to prove that's what happened. And when did the culprit throw the body into the piranha tank? When did Ryoma's body get placed in the piranha tank? Maki was with Ryoma around midnight, so it couldn't have been before nighttime. If it couldn't have been the morning after, that leaves. The only time they could have done it was during nighttime, huh? Did you forget the gym's not open at nighttime, Dick Cheese? Dick Cheese? But that's the only possibility, because by morning we were already at the gym. It may be possible they slipped by without you noticing. No one can slip by me. I'm known far and wide as the snoozing sorceress. Yeah, that's not a that's not a compliment. <laughs> what a terrible title for a guard. Are you positive that you did not see it? You cannot enter the gym at night time. Kimiko would have seen it. She might strike out, but she always keeps her eye on the ball. <laughs> I don't even play baseball. But we can't disobey school rules, right? The body was probably moved in the morning. Calm down, everyone. Go to sure if we discuss disagreement. I see through your arguments. Disagreement? What? A disagreement? <laughs> you mean you're split down the middle again? No, it definitely happened during nighttime. Then the ultimate. 
Ultimate Academy is proud to present its very own Morph Phenomenal Trial Grounds! Yippee! We've been waiting for this! Jeez, we gotta do that whole crazy thing again? It seems like our opinions are split on this matter. If we focus on the evidence, the facts will become clear. All I have to do is show them and make them accept it. I can't get them to see the truth now. My lie would have been for nothing. I won't fail. That one's definitely that the one. The tank is too far from the entrance. I got this. You might be able to reach the tank from the window above the stage. But pool next to gym also off limits at night. Lucky. Entering the pool at night's what's off limits, not the pool area itself. But should we trust Maki's testimony in the first place? Tenko. It's okay, because we have Shuichi's testimony too. Did the culprit move the body just before the morning announcement? Okay. Great, great. We got some of this. When we aren't consistent, our position looks weak. We have to work together. Naoma's body was put in the tank at nighttime. We have to defend that point. Culprit moved the body just before the morning announcement? Angie. There we go. Announcement. I was in front of the gym with the others before the announcement. Is it not possible? You simply didn't go. You were right in front of the door. No way we could have missed them. Remember, the rules say that you can't cut them. Rules probably don't apply to corpses, you know. Tank. The piranha tank. I got this. You might be able to reach the tank from the window above the stage. But pool that lucky. Entering the pool at night spots off limits, not the pool area itself. But should we take them? It's okay, because we have Shuichi's testimony too. an Xbox controller so like I keep messing up it's these buttons not enter the gym at nighttime but a corpse could I am positive that the window was how the culprit moved the body that window is higher than the piranha tank and it's pretty close by the curtains might have been closed but the window was open the whole investigation That means it was certainly possible to put the body in the piranha tank from the window. However, I'm also positive the pain dividing the piranha tank was set up beforehand. That certainly couldn't be tossed in. It would need to be placed carefully. Even if the culprit were to throw the body from outside the window... The window is far too high. It cannot be reached from the floor. The is small. Gonta could have chucked him easy. Hey, Miko, don't blame Gonta. Yes, but Gonta wouldn't do that. Gentlemen not chucked at bodies. <laughs> Being a gentleman has nothing to do with it. I know. They used the ladder in the gym. You tested it out while you were investigating, Shuichi. That ladder reached the window, right? So the culprit just needed to put the body through the window to pull it off, right? No, I don't think that method is possible because letter can be used like McCrime. 
there was no time to move it. Oh, it's not that? Oh. Oh no. Uh ladder doesn't reach the window? That's it. The only reason the ladder reached the window was because it was on the stage. Oh. If you use the ladder on the pool side, it would not quite make it. Oh, we're talking about the pool side. Derp. The ladder could barely reach the window when it was on the stage. And there is nothing on the pool side of the gym as tall as the stage. Finally, the ladder was found in the gym, correct? If the culprit used the ladder on the pool side, we wouldn't have found it in the gym. And they couldn't have thrown the ladder back through the window because it's too heavy. Then Gota used his hard strength to throw the ladder or the body or something. Gentlemen not throw dead bodies or ladders. The body could not have been thrown into the Verona tank to begin with. It would need to be placed carefully to prevent the glass pane from shifting. Got it, Musclehead? Even if we injected tons of steroids into you, it'd be impossible. Sorry, you're right. You didn't need to apologize, Gunter. How the culprit moved the body from the window. <laughs> you guys don't even know that? What a bunch of dimwits. Do you have the answer then? But of course. Tell him, Shuichi. Blow him all away with the truth. <laughs> but I don't know. <laughs> I'm, 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 I'm sitting here with anticipation because I want to know. I really want to know. I, I have all the tools. I just, like, I can't imagine how someone pulled this off. I knew how um, Kaede pulled off her murder. I have no idea how somebody pulled this one off. <laughs> uh, I uh, actually don't know that yet. Yeah. <laughs> Someone tell me! What? Tell me! The culprit definitely moved the body through the window, but I don't know how. Please! I want to know. Seriously? Yes! Serves you right! You just made a fool out of yourself after acting all high and mighty! Dudes just need to shut up and take their licks! What are we gonna do, Shuichi? We gotta figure this out or we're done for! Hey, you gotta do something, Shuichi! Stop accusing me! Uh, I know. I have to do something, but... Uh, it just... Or not accusing. Stop... Stop berating me. I'm trying to figure something out. I don't know what to do. I haven't figured that out yet. Damn it. Am I really not good enough? Am I... Am I no good as a detective? I can't do this. I can't... I don't think it really matters how the body got into the piranha tank. What? Gonta thinks it matter. We won't know culprit's trick unless we figure out. We're getting sidetracked. It doesn't matter how it was done, just who did it. We shouldn't focus on where we found the body. Instead, we need to focus on where he was killed. Where he was killed? Wouldn't it be more efficient if we focused on the murder scene instead? Okay, this I know. This is obvious to me, I feel. Because... I, I don't... I don't think, I don't think he was drowned in the pool. That would have required far too much, far too much effort to like drown someone reliably that way. No, he had to have been drowned at the sink in the, in the bathroom. Cause he definitely didn't, like there's only three places to drown. There's the piranha tank, there's the pool, and there's the, uh, the sink. And with all the evidence in the the prison bathroom, I feel that that's the most obvious place that he he got drowned at. And somehow all this all this mechanism rope and, and stuff somehow worked between like I, I'm guessing the 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 metal from the that, that tennis thing scraped both of the windows. I don't know how, yes. but it did. That's it. We were so caught up in where the body was found. When we should have been thinking about where the murder occurred. 
The murder scene would definitely have more clues about the culprit. Why didn't anyone realize this yet? <laughs> That's strange. Perhaps the culprit steered the conversation away from that topic. Then, the culprit is someone in this room! That's important to remember. It's not as if everyone here wants us to find the truth. One of us is trying to sabotage this trial. Well then, let's discuss the crime scene to figure out who the culprit is. That's not a bad idea for a robot. The last time I heard such a good idea was... when Nino told me to move in with her under the bridge to get out of the pool. Amy Kawa under the bridge?! <laughs> if we can determine where this all started, we can determine how it ended. Yes, it's too soon to quit. The trial has only just begun. Thank you, Maki. That was a helpful insight. I can't believe you didn't notice that. I guess that's why you're still an apprentice. <laughs> Alright. All right, it happened in the, the prison bathroom. Uh, First, let's establish the crime scene. Wasn't it the dorm room? Ryoma was relaxing in his room when he got attacked. But the cause of death was drowning. There is nothing in his room that could collect enough water. He's got a toilet, doesn't he? Drowning toilets? Impossible! We should consider places where water is stored! The only place that fits is... Yeah. It's not this one. Because the pool rules. Yes. I didn't even think about the pool rules, but of course, because we're talking about past nighttime. The pool could not have been the scene of the murder. Ryoma was killed at nighttime. Correct. No swimming is allowed at nighttime, so a living person could not have gone in. <laughs> a dead body is fine because it's just an object. But if a living person entered the pool, I think I might cry. Cry as loud as you want. I'll cry with you. We can spend the night together crying. In the morning after, I'll write goodbye on your mirror and lipstick before I quietly leave. What are you talking about? Quit being so gloomy. This is the year of the Jets. Fuck the Patriots. <laughs> what? Anyway, we can conclude it's impossible for him to have drowned in the pool. Where was Ryoma killed if not pool? Is there other place where water can be stored? Where was Ryoma killed? I know there's some kind of clue. Uh, the scratched handcuffs. Uh, oh, no. Fine, fine. Marked window frame. Are you Damn. kidding me? But it said that both sides. Ah. Uh, okay, it was the scratched sink. This is it! <sighs> okay. The sink in Ryoma's lab. There were distinct scratch marks on it. Scratch marks on the sink? Then I believe those scratches were caused by... Oh, the handcuffs. Scratched handcuffs. This is it! The handcuffs. They were scratched as well, correct? Oh well, yeah, sort of look like they've been scraped against something. There's also the fact that the handcuffs were from Ryoma's lab. The marks on the sink came from the handcuffs in the same room. The size and shape of the scratches are consistent with the handcuffs, I'm sure. Hmm, how did those handcuffs get from the lab to the water tank? Because Ryoma was wearing them, right? Yes, though they were only visible for a brief moment when Ryoma appeared in the tank. I am certain he was wearing the handcuffs at the time. The handcuffs were left after the piranhas devoured Ryoma. 
So the culprit handcuffed Ryoma and drowned him in his lab sink. Ryoma must have been pretty yummy. They chomped up his entire body. Arms, legs, brain. Same disgusting things. I don't want to hear it. That mm. crunchy texture with the fatty parts just right. Then when they bite down, it gushes. Please stop. Stop! Please stop! But how did culprit handcuff Ryoma? He could have used Shikuchi method to get away. Unless someone ambushed him? It's possible they knocked him out before handcuffing him. <laughs> Though there's no way we can be sure, now that he's not the bones. I doubt he was ambushed. I'm pretty sure the culprit got Ryoma by... Uh, whoops. Don't pay attention to little old me. I'm just talking to myself. Now what were you gonna say? When you talk to yourself, Pretend you're eating and chew with your mouth closed. Otherwise, you'll get a mouthful of peanut butter squid. It's so disgusting, you'll laugh. So we all agree Ryoma was drowned in the sink in his lap. <laughs> that was so random. That sink could have held enough water to do it for sure. All right, I'm calling it. The crime scene is Ryoma's fucking research lab. But how did the culprits carry his body to the gym from there? Isn't Ryoma's lab on the third floor of the academy? It's actually not far at all. Although, perhaps it's more accurate to say there's a shortcut. Was there a shortcut? Yes, but how? What shortcut between Ryoma's lab and the gym did the culprit use? The window. This thing. There! The shortcut is the window in Ryoma's lab. The window? That's right. None of the windows in this school open. Except the one in Ryoma's lab. And on top of that, the window faced the pool. You could see the gem straight across. Do you think the culprit dropped Ryoma's body into the pool area from the lab window? Then they could have thrown the body into the piranha tank through the gym window. How that? Mission complete! It sounds so impossible. Your explanation contradicts some things we discussed earlier. The gym window was too high to reach from the poolside, even if one used the ladder. That's right! I apologize! I must go on a journey to reflect on this! We keep hitting dead ends, since we don't know how the body was thrown into the gym. <laughs> well, that didn't really give us any info about the crime. Not necessarily. We learned a lot of important information. Now that I'm sure the scene of the crime was Ryoma's lab, the case is becoming clearer. To determine how the body got from the crime scene to where it was found, I have to figure out how to get from the third floor window to the gym. Alright then. I have to analyze the possible methods and find the most likely. What? When you have to deduce how things are connected, Psych Taxi will start up. The object of this mode is to gather the litter cubes lying around to form the question. Use the A button to accelerate and the L stick to move left and right. Picking up litter cubes floating around, you can complete the question. Once you've completed the question, you head toward the escort that has the correct answer. If it's the right answer, they'll get in your car. If it's the wrong answer, something bad happens. Also, there will be other cars on the road. If you hit those, you will take focus energy damage. It's getting dangerous to use the RB to concentrate, stay calm, and avoid them. Please drive safely. Enjoy the ride. Please respond at your earliest convenience.
I see the lab window. Next question. Okay. Alright. I understand how this works now. The body was brought to the gym from where? Through that window, the gym window. Gym pool window. Gym window. It's on this side of the road. Oh, there's the other cars on the road. How was it moved from the classroom window to the gym window? I want to know so badly! From window to window. From window to window. But how? I want to see this. I want to see this so badly, you guys. I just, I can't, like, my brain cannot process it. I got it. The Yoma's body was moved directly from his lab to the gym. Directly? Don't tell me they threw the body from window to window. No, they use some sort of. I mean, we're talking about a body. It's not like tossing a baseball. You know? <sighs> we're talking about somehow they use like the 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 rope combined with the the uh the, to the tube and the metal the metal uh wire thing. No, I don't believe he was thrown, but perhaps another way. What do you mean, another way? There's no other way to move it. The culprit must have used some kind of equipment. Huh? Equipment? With this equipment, they can connect the two windows and move the body to the gym. Equipment to connect the windows. I believe it was found near the body. There! The rope found behind the gym stage could have been used to connect the windows. Oh, there was a mysterious mystery about that rope that only Atua can reveal. What mysterious mystery? During last night's preparations for the show, that rope was in the wing of the stage. But the next morning, the rope had been moved backstage for some reason. It's a mysterious mystery. Only Atoa knows the answer. So, during nighttime, someone used the rope, then threw it into the gym window? So they did use the rope! That's how they bridged the distance between both windows! Is the rope long enough to reach both windows? The rope is roughly 65 feet in length. As for the distance between the windows... According to the sign of the pool, the width of the pool is roughly 35 feet. Yeah. And the distance from the edges of the pool to the windows is an additional 16 feet. Altogether, the sum total length from one window to the other is roughly 50 feet. I figured and this much out. The only thing between research lab and gym windows. You bet it's long enough. <laughs> That's what she said. Wait, who said that? Even if the rope was long enough, wouldn't it be pretty hard to tie them to the windows? Both windows were too high to reach. It would be like tying a rope from one cliff to another. If the windows were closer together, then they could toss the rope across. But they're not. No, don't think it would work. Just need one more rope. Another rope? There was only one, though. Oh, then it's impossible. Sorry. No, I'm pretty sure there was another rope, or at least something that could be used as a rope. It was the... Where is it? This, this one? Is it. The tennis net cable from Ryoma's lab could serve as a rope. How long is it? 
about 50 feet or so. But how do they use it? Okay, so... First, culprit hang rope outside of one window. Then, culprit move to the other side. And tie cable to other window. Then, after tying to each window, culprit tie rope and cable together. That how culprit make one rope that reach both windows. But that's brilliant. Wow, that's amazing, Gonta. You're so knowledgeable. It, it's nothing. Gonta use ropes a lot when looking for bugs. Even if they did connect the windows with a rope, they can't carry a body on just that. Eureka! I got it! Thomas Edison once said that genius is 1% inspiration and 99% perspiration. I don't think he said that. But in my case, it's 100% inspiration! I could be wrong. They can cut the body to the rope and slit it from one window to the other, like Tarzan! No, but they might have used that too. The body would reach the gym window, but it wouldn't land in the piranha tank. Stop making such dumbass comments and keep your smelly breath in your dirty mouth. <laughs> Tarzan? Um, but they also had to put the body in the piranha tank after they moved it, huh? That is not feasible with just one rope. Maybe the rope wasn't the only equipment the culprit used. Not just the rope. Well, anyway, it would have been pretty difficult to get that body in the piranha tank. They wouldn't just throw it. The trick was a super crucial part of the culprit's plan. The culprit must have carefully placed the body into the tank with their own hands. But is there really a way to do that? Kokichi? Are you hinting at something? Huh? Hint? What hint? Don't confuse me with your talk of hinting hints. You're confusing me. You are definitely on to something. It's true that the culprit needed to place the body directly into the piranha tank. If the body were to fall, the culprit would not have been able to retrieve it. They would only have had one shot at it. No second chances. So obviously, the culprit would have wanted to put the body in the tank carefully, meaning they would have wanted to get as close to the window as possible. The problem is, how did they get near it? All we know right now is that there was a rope that connected, that connected the windows. Somehow, the culprit used that to move the body and were close to the window themselves. make that work, they had to have used something else. What would that be? What could they have done? Alright, Shuichi. The stage is finally set. What? Listen up. Do a good job here, and I'll be able to put an end to this trial. It all starts with you. You be the opening act, and I'll be the main event. And then together, we're gonna save everyone. Together? You got this! After all, you are my psychic. I believe in you, so I'm gonna leave the rest to you. Yeah. Okay, I can do this. I'll solve this mystery and show everyone the truth. This is the main event. Something was used with the rope to move the body between the windows. Think, come on, think. This is the inner tube, right? Oh, crap. That is not spell inner tube. Uh, what? Row what? Rop what? Rope what? I'm sorry, but what what word am I building? Is this like ropeway? What the fudge is a ropeway? I'm 
you ever? Okay, let me Google that. Yes, that's it. The culprit used something like a ropeway to move the body. A ropeway, huh? Are you sure about that? Wow, you got brain damage or something? You need some kind of vessel to use on a ropeway, and we don't have that. No, there definitely was. The culprit used it to move the body along the rope. In, in scenes where you have to deduce an image, mind mine will begin. Uh, in this mode, the objective is to dig up the answer. At the beginning, the answer will be completely covered by pieces. Use this blah blah, blah and erase pieces will be erased. When two or more of the same color connect, the adjacent pieces will change color to the following order. White, pink, yellow, white. Do it right. You can remove all the pieces from an object. The trick is to predict how the adjacent pieces will change. When all the pieces on top of an object are gone. You can select the object as the answer. Select the wrong object. Your influence gauge will take damage. Just one piece left. You can break it with the A button repeatedly. Uh, so don't just button mash. It might sound complicated, but trust me, you'll get it as you play. I don't understand at all what I'm doing. Okay, well. Let's do that first. Oh, that was stupid. Alright. Yeah, I messed this up. Oh my god. Oh my god. I understand the concept, it's just like, it's, it's way harder than I thought it would be. Oh my god, you guys. My gosh, I didn't have to clear the entire screen. The rubber inner tube we found floating in the pool. Oh my god, I definitely failed that. You guys have no idea how long I've been doing that. I've been doing that for so long. My recording is now two hours for the intermission. Oh my god. Remember the inner tube we found in the pool with a rope on one side? <sighs> Maybe the rope was originally tied on both sides. The culprit made a ropeway by hanging the tube from the rope connecting the windows. And because the third floor window is higher up, gravity would have pushed the inner tube along. The inner tube is made of sturdy rubber as well. It could have supported two people. The culprit used the ropes in the inner tube oh. to construct a rudimentary ropeway. Oh. I didn't think that the rope would leave scratch marks on the window. And used it to move themselves and Leoma's body from the lab to the gym. Once through the gym window, the culprit stood on the inner tube to move the body. Either that, or the culprit placed their foot on the window sill. That way would be more stable, and let them handle the corpse more carefully. Finally, they removed the rope from the window frame, and left the scene. Well, when you put it like that, it certainly sounds possible. But wow, a ropeway! You say the culprit placed their foot on the windowsill. Isn't that against school rules? 
It would count as entering the gym, would it not? Last time we got asked that question, we decided it was okay. Sticking your body through the window is an automatic out, but standing on the sill is... Wait, who asked you last time? Eh? <laughs> it is quite possible that the culprit went to you to confirm the details of their plan. Ah. No shit. When you put your foot in your mouth. His foot? Monoski just enhanced his jaw and swallowed his entire leg. Cut it out. I can't write this off as a joke if you two keep freaking out about it. You're on the threshold. <laughs> Then your little slip-up is actually the truth! P pops Bumble, Daddy's yeah. mad at you now! Rest in peace! Don't look at me! This is what you get for acting like a big shot all the time! Stop! Do not bully Monosuke! Huh? No more blaming each other! Everybody makes mistakes! I want us all to get along. That remains of a once powerful Monodum's mind. right! Monosuke, you better thank Monodum. Less attitude and more gratitude. Got it? Come on. The trial was just getting fun. Why you gotta ruin it with that slip up? <sighs> I'm honestly relieved. But I guess now we know Shuichi's logic is right on the money. Really used ropeway to move body? Yeah, they used the ropeway to move with the body from window to window. But this doesn't explain who actually did it. Ropeway murder? That's some crazy ass shit! But if the mechanism was that complicated, wouldn't it be hard to put it all away? Not necessarily. All one must do is detach the rope from the window after using the ropeway. Then, after returning to Yoma's lab, one could retrieve the rope from that side. Tossing the rope into the gym from the pool window would be the final step. Yeah, but why was the tube yes. in the pool? The was thrown from the window! Why we found it there! With that method, the culprit must have made numerous trips from Ryoma's lab to the pool. Which is why the crime was committed during nighttime, while we all slumber. But if the culprit was so careful to recover the rope they used to commit the crime, why did they leave the inner tube in the pool? I believe that was an accident. An accident? Yes. When the culprit was taking down the inner tube, they accidentally dropped it. Then why did the culprit leave it in the pool? Because it was nighttime, they couldn't retrieve it. That's yeah. it! Even if they wanted to get it, they couldn't, because this took place at nighttime. I see! They couldn't get the inner tube because swimming is prohibited at nighttime. Okay, an accident. Well, I mean, that, that resolves that. This doesn't get us any closer to solving who did this, though. But couldn't they have used the rope to fish it out? Not necessarily. You see, the water level in that pool is so low. Even if one tried to draw in the inner tube using the rope, The steep angle the rope would be at would make it nigh impossible. It'd be different if they used a pole, but there's no way a rope would work. Even if inner tube was closer to pool edge, the water is still too low to drag tube in. One mistake. This was the perfect crime. If Maki had never met up with Ryoma at nighttime, 
It might have been the end for us. Oh, I still don't know if Maki is telling the truth or not. Shut up. Personally, I find this culprit frighteningly thorough. Such a bold, beautiful plan. I never even imagined there was a ropeway. Oh, respect begins to bloom in my heart for this wonderfully cruel culprit. I just, I don't know who it is now. I don't know. It's not Maki, obviously. I can't believe I'm so far off on the second trial. What are you, stupid? Don't respect the culprit. No, respecting the culprit's intelligence is crucial in solving this case. We're so close. We're just one step away from the truth. Now, we just need to figure out who the culprit is. But of course, it would be pointless to unravel this mystery otherwise. So, who is it? Hmm. Looks like it's time for me to start the main event. But my sidekick here is on a roll right now, so I'll let him take this one. I, I don't know who it is. <sighs> Whoever it is was like really super duper intelligent about all of this. All right? Like beyond normal intelligence. Let me let me just one second. I need to run through these characters real quick. I don't think it's- it's not Kaito. Not Gonta. I don't know if it's Kokichi anymore. I don't think it's gonna be... Korikyo. Not Kibo. Maybe still Kurumi. Doubtful for Himiko. Not Maki. Not Tenko. No- Not Tenko ever. Uh, I, I don't think so. No. I, I I don't know. Hmm? Ah, okay. You're just pushing everything onto Shuichi because you don't know yourself. Well, Shuichi, do you already know who the culprit is? Yes, I have a good idea of who the culprit is. Who's the culprit? Who's the culprit, Mina? Tell me. I, I don't know. I don't know, Shuichi. I, I, like, ask in your heart who you think the culprit is. I, I don't know. Why isn't Kaede here? I don't know either. I miss her. I miss her too. I know. But we can't. We gotta solve this. Hey, Shuichi. Are you hesitating again? What? What? Come on, man, there's no need for that. Like I said, you're my sidekick. I take responsibility for any mistakes my sidekick makes. So use those skills of yours I believe in to shove the truth down their throats. You believe in my detective skills? That's right. I'm going to leave it all to you, Shuichi. Yeah, I need to believe in my detective work. The whole setup would have had to have been prepared in the gym well beforehand. Knowing that narrows the list of suspects. I didn't mean to click on me. I didn't mean- <laughs> that was stupid. I'm panicking. Uh, okay. Who- Kaito? Okay, someone had to prepare this. It's Kaito, Kimiko, Angie, Kibo, or Kirumi. I'm gonna just, I'm gonna throw this at Kirumi. I'm sorry, I, I literally don't know who else. It has to be you. Is it? There's one more thing I still have to confirm, but Kirumi is the prime suspect. 